Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to try to convince you guys to use quad crashers a little more often. Many of you have probably seen a player soaring across the map on one of these beautiful four-wheelers and thought to yourself, what a goober, I bet that guy wishes he had an airplane. And don't get me wrong, airplanes are great, they do a lot of damage, they move fast, and they keep you relatively safe. Airplanes are so powerful that in the last few patches of Season 7, they have been consistently nerfed. However, even with these nerfs, airplanes are still a major headache for players on the ground. Watch that, 30, 30, 30. And he died because I crashed into him. What, what kind of sense does that make? Did I have fun? Sure. But was that a skill-based kill that I just got? Did I get that kill because I was good at the game? No. Absolutely not. Getting dive-bombed by one or more planes is often a nausea-inducing experience. There's two planes! We've all had a lot of fun with airplanes, but it seems that both the casual and competitive Fortnite communities agree that airplanes aren't a super healthy part of the gameplay experience. And since one iconic Season 7 feature was almost immediately removed from the game, it makes sense that the developers over at Epic Games would want airplanes to last at least to the end of the season. Today, with continued backlash from most of the community and with the end of the season rapidly approaching, we have to wonder if airplanes are truly here to stay. With that uncertainty in mind, think about the Quad Crasher for a second. It hasn't changed much since it was introduced to the game, and personally, I believe that anything an airplane can do, a Quad Crasher can do much better. First of all, a quad crasher is faster than a plane, by far. In this video, you can see me quickly catch up to a plane to chase two players trying to escape. If you're trying to rotate quickly, a quad crasher is the absolute fastest option. The second advantage is safety. When you use a plane to rotate, half the map will hear the engine firing up. On top of the loud volume, airplanes are very large and easy to spot from a distance. On top of that, airplanes travel in a predictable linear path. All these factors make you very Ooh. vulnerable to gunfire while flying a plane. So instead of getting into build fights, I'm uh, I'm just gonna do that actually. In comparison, the quad crasher is almost silent, and it's a much smaller target. You can soar over opponents or sneak up to them without ever being heard or seen. On top of that, boosting in the air while turning and flipping makes you a much less predictable target for enemies who do manage to spot you. The last advantage of the quad is aggression. As an aggressive airplane pilot, you can't just rely on the plane's turret. Nine times out of ten, starting a fight from an airplane will require you to hop out of the plane to finish a fight with a more personal touch. However, hopping out of a plane is slow and predictable. You can't build or shoot until your feet touch the ground. In comparison, hopping out of a quad crasher is fast and unpredictable. The instant you hit something solid, you can jump out at full speed to surprise your opponents and confirm some damage at the start of a fight. With all this in mind, I hope you guys start practicing the Quad Crasher boost. It's a super fun gameplay mechanic, and unlike the airplane, the Quad Crasher is probably going to stick around a lot longer. Right on top of me there. Oh, he's out the game! Goodbye! Just like that, a Poro. We aimed the Quad Crasher. Perfectly, so perfectly, we hit the man right on target. He soared into the air, soared into the air, and fell to his death. All right, for those of you who don't know, this is how you perform the quad crasher boost technique. As I drive off this ramp, I'm going to lean back before boosting, and this time I boosted using the full boost meter. Notice that I'm going to hit the ground before the boost meter recharges. So instead of boosting all the way, we're not going to tap boost, but we're not going to hold it all the way either. We're going to boost about three quarters of this boost bar on the right hand side. Notice it gets orange and now it's going to be able to recharge and I'll be able to get back up in the air. So using this technique, once you get comfortable, you can look around, spot enemy players. You can even turn, climb straight up. It's important to develop this kind of muscle memory if you're going to use the quad crasher offensively. Happy boosting everybody. All right, let's see if we can't find Mr. Omega once more. We found him. Sub to PewDiePie! Joke's on him, I already did.